where it's stuck. Such a small turbo. Don't talk about my turbos like that. This is what YouTuber burnout looks like. Hey! I don't eat gas station food, nor do I drink a Red Bull every day. But lately, it's been needed. <laughs> Today we're going to be installing the bigger turbo. Bigger. So I think overall it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good quick and easy day. I take my new headshots tomorrow and I have all these appointments that, you guys know everything that happens on camera and it's like content, content, content. And it's like me trying to put out the best content possible, but I think sometimes I neglect to take care of myself outside the videos, nor do I keep you guys posted on what's going on. So cheers to taking better steps of taking better care of myself, minus Red Bull. Cheers to the VF37 Turbo today. Two, back at it again. Ooh, Supra. Sick. What's up? How you doing? Good, how are you? What do you think of the new Supra? Uh, I don't know, I have to see in person. <laughs> Fair enough. Very political. <laughs> it's a BMW. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is the VF37. <laughs> it's as small as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's brand new. They just rebuilt it. Yeah. I don't know what is in this package yet. The car community is such a cool community. I posted on Instagram actually that I was looking for an intercooler and Armando watches the videos and he said he has one and he sent one out and he said he added a few goodies in here as well. <laughs> I also bought injectors off him because you know, we're eventually gonna go E85. Sick! So here's the STI intercooler. It is slightly wider than my stock WRX one, but this is gonna work perfect. Also, oh, there's a lot of goodies in here. Here are the injectors. They are 1,000cc ID injectors. Top feed, of course. Oh man, I'm so used to the LS where I'm like, I'm missing half of them, but nah. Definitely more affordable. Could you imagine having to pay double every time? Yeah. So here are the... You didn't see that. Yeah, so Armando from CNC Performance asked me if he could also send me some stuff to kind of show off what he does. And I said, of course, man, absolutely. Oh, this is a cap cover. He asked me if I wanted blue, red, or black. And I hadn't decided on the color for the SUV yet, so I said black. Oh, this is cool. Of course, I have the red pitch stop. <laughs> Ooh, these are good quality. All right, we have temp, we have power steering, brake fluid, coolant, and engine oil. These are sick. Bring you guys down a bit so you can see what I'm playing with. Ah, oh, he sent me a pulley kit. Oh, that's nice. Radiator top support. Do you remember the ghetto ones we cut for the S13 that looked like they could shake someone? Yeah, these are the nicer version. <laughs> Ooh, and a battery tie down. <laughs> you guys know I need this. <laughs> His shop is CNC Performance and they make a bunch of stuff for Subies and I'm sure more. So that actually looking at the top mount before I bought it, I thought it was an 06. Jesse's now telling me it's an 08 plus, so it's the bigger of the option. <laughs> bigger is better. So when it comes to turbo installs on cars, it can be a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Daunting. <laughs> it can be a little bit daunting of a task. And I mean, that is because there's multiple different experiences you can have. It can kind of be like where the S13, where everything is custom to the point where the turbos were custom made. We need to make a custom downpipe. We need to do like custom plumbing for it. And it was just a madhouse versus something like the VF37, which with the uppipe and downpipe we have is plug and play. So today installing this should actually be 
I'm not gonna say it. So we're gonna put the turbo in, we're gonna bolt her up, we'll put the, the down pipe together, put some more oil in the car. You know, we'll just throw a wet shot in her, we'll rev her to 9K and see if we can blow her. <laughs> I was waiting to see if he would look up. <laughs> no tune. Now I tried to see, I was like, huh, I wonder if I could take Jesse's ECU, plug it into my car, but uh, we're risking a little too much by doing that. So today's gonna be installed, next video is gonna be, I guess, Dino Day. But my gloves. <laughs> So Jesse, we have this thing on the vlog and it's it's called PTT time. What is that? Ponytail time. <laughs> no, I don't have. I don't have no hair. I think we can make it work. Well, but we usually say it's PTT time. We're about to start working on the car. Oh, it doesn't get in your way while we're working. Yeah. Oh. You want to say it's PTT time? All right, I'll see. Yeah. see. Uh, <laughs> How was it again? It's PTT time. It's PTT time. <laughs> I have another one in the at the house. Mm -hmm. The sharp block all separate. Really? Yeah, like ready to take it. So that's an H6. What would you guys think if we swapped that into the Subaru? That'd be cool. It's, let me budget it. <laughs> Let me budget it. Here is the before and the after. So from itty bitty to biggie wiggy. <laughs> you want like a measure and tape? Let's just say 16 to 21. Yeah, gained a whole five inches. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> I feel like the, uh, the serial, you know like when you buy a gun, you shave off the serial number? Mm. I feel like that's what we did with the turbo. <laughs> That's it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't think it was in all the way. Like my full body weight trying to push the turbo down. I'm gonna go death from using these guns all the time. Water line, oil line, and the other two are on the bottom. This so, is feed and the return are on the bottom. Return is the one that I put on the bottom, the big one. Underneath? Okay. Yeah. All right, O2 sensor has been swapped over. Let's install this down pipe. Watch this wizardry. <laughs> Whoa! That's gonna work so well. <laughs> it's the little things in life. That's a weird shit. Oh, I'm a professional. It's like a damn pop should. All right, turbo is now officially attached to the downpipe. Let's get this intercooler on. So the STI headers don't have the O2 sensor on the header like the WRX does. They actually have it on the downpipe. See, Jesse just put that in there. Everything I'm referencing is JDM, not USDM. And there's that tool. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's money. That's money. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, let's stock too. I can't get that hose on. You think you can help me pull this up above? I'm just thinking about how everyone's gonna think I'm standing on the radiator right now. <laughs> <laughs> I say we just leave it open. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so when I go to get the car dyno and tuned, I think I'm gonna do a blow off valve. I don't think I'm gonna do recirc. I think I'm gonna go mid to atmosphere. <laughs> so now just top her off with oil and then we're done. She's ready for a tune. We can't really drive her like this because we'll blow the turbo but soon. So since the engine has been sitting a while, we're gonna do an oil flush. So we're gonna put in kind of like a cheaper oil, five weight 30, 
for like the first 500 miles, then we'll switch to the OG Rotella T6. And we're also putting in oil, so you can at least turn it over and hear those equal length headers. Can I show you a secret? Flip it the other way. Nope, I'll show you. So you guys already know, like I, I'm into like the little things and I always love educating people on how the oil courts were designed to be poured upside down. You ready? Your mind is about to be blown. All right, I'll see. Like this. See how smooth it comes out? Mm-hmm. No, not impressed. Oh, okay, got it now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It doesn't do that. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. yeah <laughs> we just noticed he even says on the bottle to pour like that. I haven't even uploaded the previous video yet where I did a couple low RPM revs, but I already know that there was probably some shit talking in the comments. So I'm just not gonna do any cold start revs, also because you know, without the tune, that just makes it even more dangerous and unhealthy on the engine and the turbo. So instead, let's just do a cold turnover and just hear what a Honda sounds like. <laughs> Sounds healthier. Smoking? No, uh -huh. no. Ah, car smoke and swap the turbo. Next up, I think we dyno her. True test of power. What numbers do you guys think she'll put down? Comment below. 802 garage guessed my quarter mile right on the money. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Let's put in the bets now. And again, we're really just tuning her so I can drive her. I'm trying to source the parts for E85 right now just to be completely transparent with you guys. So once I have everything I need, then we'll tune her again because why not? All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. It was a very short, sweet, simple day. The new turbo, the VF37 twin scroll is installed. Same with the downpipe, the pipe. We're good, for money. We are ready for a tune. So comment below what you guys think she'll put down. Again, Jesse, thank you for all of your help. Not a problem. If you guys have any JDM needs, this is the guy to go to. Oh yeah, she's gonna be putting down some power soon. I also wanna know you guys' thoughts on the H6 swap, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Sorry, nothing ratchet is going on today, but again, it was just a super quick, simple, easy turbo install. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, make sure you cop the merch. There's gonna be a new drop coming soon, so get what we have on the site while it is still up. There's also a Patreon link in the description below. That is a mouthful. All right, guys, E-Crew, we out here with love. Bye! <laughs>